we all know friends, relatives who are unemployed. So this campaign is not only a professional interest, but it is socially a very important issue. We are all responsible for this. I would like to comment on three very compelling reasons why we need to do more. The first, of course, is because traineeships and placements are good for the individual, but also are good for the host company. And the second reason is perhaps a deeper one. We have an extraordinary gap between the world of education and training on the one hand and the world of work on the other. And we must do something for our citizens to bridge that gap. And last but not least, because as I said, we have Erasmus and Leonardo, but I'm sure that more can be done to explore their potential. We have here a first mapping of the keywords we were using. We have the enabling environment and the end users, which with the companies are the trainees. We have written this European Quality Charter on internships and apprenticeships. Yeah, I have exactly three points. The first one being communication, the second one needs, and the third one professionalism. That was the idea of uh, and identifying the champions among the companies, so use them as uh, role models. We manage a nationwide project. We already sent more than 3,000 people. We hope to see how we can address the problem of uh, the barriers that are there for students to go uh, abroad. We think internships play a very important role in the development of young people and assisting them in the transition from the world of education to the world of work. This has been a real world event because we are in the middle of a very real world crisis and it's extremely important that all of the different stakeholders, and that includes the European Commission of course, are seen to provide at least some of the real world answers to these uh, very serious problems. Um.